channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to transform your cute dress if you have one into an off-shoulder looking dress if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to click notification so that i get notified whenever i post a new video so let's get into the video in order to determine the circumference of my shoulders for the off-shoulder portions that I want to make, I'm going to take my um, tape measure. I'm going to take my tape measure and then measure it um, round. My fabric is already folded in two, so the 43 I got before, I divided into two, so I'm marking it on one side and adding an extra one into that one. Then I'll measure the length of how I want it, the off shoulder part to be, inclusive of a one inch allowance for folding or sewing at both top and bottom. And then I measure all the way to the end, join the point with my ruler. So right now I'm dividing that entire length into two. From where I'm marking to the fold will form the front and then the other side will form the back and then I mark as well and pin with my um, dressmaker pin. So now I want the front to have like, to be lower, to have a shorter length. So I'll be marking one and a half, half inch off. So I just want to explain on a piece of paper how um, it is going to look. That's the front and that's the back. So I'm going to curve it out a little bit and then cut it. I don't want it to have a sharp edge, just to have sort of like a smooth flow from one side to the other. And then for the back, I'm going to slant it inward and then cut it out so it has like this asymmetrical shape sort of. So this is what it's going to look like at the back. I'm going to cut my fabric out. And I'm going to use this, once I'm done cutting, I'm going to use this to cut another piece as well. One will serve as lining and the other one will be on the outside. So this is the two pieces I have right here. I've already attached it to one piece of the fabric so it's time for joining I'll be joining with one inch sewing allowance and I'm going to do this for the other side as well I noticed that after sewing one side because um, the interfacing will allow your fabric not to stretch anymore I had one side longer than the other so I'm actually going to trim that off so they are of equal length. So once I'm done sewing both sides, it's time I want to um, top stitch so that my fabric is going to stay in place and I'm top stitching the top part. The part that is going to be around my neck area, that's the part I'm top stitching. So once I'm done top stitching, I'm going to fold the ends in and top stitch just to, to close um, the fabric. I'm going to top stitch the end by half an inch. I fold it in by half an inch and top stitch all the way down. And I do the same for the other side as well. So that's it, guys. So after top stitching the ends, 
I fold it into two and mark the midpoint. So I'm going to be sewing the ends of my off shoulder <laughs> to my zipper um, allowance with a needle and a thread, a hand needle and a thread. So this is basically how I turn my seat dress into an off shoulder dress. So if I want to wear it as a seat dress, all I need to do is just clip off the thread off and I'm back to my seat dress. And if I want to wear it as an off shoulder dress, all I need to do is pin this, uh, sew this in back as well. So once I'm done with that, I just knot the thread three times and I do the same for the other side as well. I attach the other end to the other side of um, the zipper panel on the blouse. So I'm done with the back, the front. Remember I marked the midpoint, so I'm going to find the midpoint on the tube dress. So I measure from that to that. And mark the midpoint so that point will serve as the midpoint on my seat dress and I pin it I pin the tube dress one inch above sorry I pin the off shoulder portion one inch above the tube dress so it's sort of a little bit higher so at the dark area of the tube dress I'm going to be holding it I'm going to sew through the tube dress to the off shoulder part. Just stitch it once, knot and tie, and do the same for the other side. So this is basically it, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button. Here is the off shoulder dress. This is how it looks. And this is how my back looks as well. This is what I wanted to achieve. So thank you for watching. Bye guys.